What is going on everybody out there in YouTube lands? Revolution on Cowboy here. And this video is going to be a little bit of a collection update video. But it's just going to be my loose collection because I have a lot of loose WWE Mattel figures. Ones that I found at the flea market, bought online, got through friends. And so then, you know, because I missed in retail, so it was better just to buy them loose and spend a crap load of money for them men on card. But anyways, I'm going to show you... Like my decent sized collection. Keep in mind, this is, for anyone watching, this is not my entire collection. I do mostly collect mint on card figures, as you see in my other videos. And I have way more mint on card figures than I do have loose. But I thought, you know, it'd be easier to share the loose figures with you first, since I'm was well, actually decided that I need to rearrange my shelves with some of the figures I've had. A few that I've had recently, I haven't really bought loose figures as much as I used to. But eh, whatever. I'll sh show you guys all my basics, my elites. Which I have way more loose elites than I have loose basics. I have more, you know, like I said, I have more mental card figures. Anyway, so I'm going to show the basics first. Then i move on to the elites with legends, defined moments, and, you know, build figures, and so on. Okay, start with the basics. Here is Series 24 AJ Lee. She just recently retired, so uh, she has one more basic coming out, and that's it. I guess we we'll probably won't see more AJ Lee figures for a while. And continue on with AJ Lee. Here's Series 30 AJ Lee. Both these figures, I had the, well, no luck finding them in retail. That's why I just bought them loose, and they were pretty much cheaper that way, anyways. Not that they were much cheaper than what they go for in retail. And then, I don't have very many loose Diva figures from Mattel. Most of my Divas are men on card, men box, whatever. Um, here's Kelly Kelly, one of my few figures I have of her. I have some Jax figures of her, and I'll show those in a later time. I don't have a whole lot of Jax figures. Besides, who really cares for Jax anymore? I know some of you still do. Alright, so that's it for the Divas. Let's go to the Superstars. One of my bigger basics, the Big Show. I'm not too crazy about his basics. I'll buy one or two every now, or then, now and then. The only reason I have this is actually the Kmart Big Show. It came with the Intercontinental Belt, but I actually have the Intercontinental Belt with another figure. I'll show you when I get to my Elites. Uh, sticking with the basics. Here's the Undertaker figure. This came with the uh, Booker T Builder figure set, and I have actually all the figures that, that were included. Uh, let's see, I gotta look. Here's The Rock. I actually used it for my channel trailer recently. Um, gonna keep looking through, try to go in order. Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, I don't care much for Del Rio's figures. His elites are okay, but I'm not too big on his basics. You know, that basic's not bad compared to another one I'm about to show you here in a moment. Um, Gotta keep looking if I didn't misplace him. And here's the Seamus figure that was in the Booker T built figure set. By the way, Seamus, of course, has a new look, so this figure is now out of date. And then continue on with the uh, figures that were included with the basic build a figure. You know, well, the build figures were elite, but the figures were themselves, you know, that include the pieces were basic. So here's, um, here's Dolph Ziggler. Here's Randy Orton, which they, you know, of course, messed up and not paint his beard. And by the way, I'll put links in the description to all the figures I reviewed. Some of these I reviewed, some of them I haven't. Obviously, if the review the build figure sets, I, you know, reviewed the build the figures with the build a figure, you know. Um, here's another Alberto Del Rio. This one I don't like as much. I think it's kind of goofy, but whatever. I'll I'll keep it. And by the way, for anyone asking, I'm not putting any figures for sale or trade, especially when it comes to my elite. So. Um, when it comes to the basics, only a few I would consider. Here's the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar. And that's it for the basic figures that came with the build of figures which I heard a rumor that we're not getting the Paul Bear set. At least not in build of figure form, so we'll have to see about that. Okay, some more basics. Um, got Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho, which I recently acquired at Flea Market, and this is actually, I believe, from the two-pack with Shawn Michaels. I just need their display stands, though. That's the only thing I'm missing. I'm going to move the camcorder back a little so I can get more basics in the shot. Here is a Dolph Ziggler, which I bought from a good pal of mine by the name of the Madness. He used to be on YouTube, but he's not on YouTube as much anymore. He doesn't make videos anymore, at least. And this is one that he did, like, an arm swap. So he put, like, the arms of an Elite onto the basic Ziggler. Because I think the basic Ziggler had white wrist tape originally. So it looks cool. It looks much better. Let's see, um, here is a CM Punk figure I have. I have plenty of CM Punks. I used to be a big CM Punk fan. This is the Signature, signature Series Punk from 2013, but 
It, and it used to be mint on card, but the packaging got damaged, so I had to take it out of the package. And then I have another CM Punk here. This is from Series uh, 24. With, that was also with AJ Lee in it. And I've reviewed him and AJ Lee in separate videos. Let's see. Um, here is Survivor Series uh, Heritage The Rock. And I do have a lot of fears of The Rock, too, as you will see pretty soon. Let's see. Um, here is, I believe, the SummerSlam series. Or it's in, I think it's series 11 or 12. I don't remember what series from this Triple H. It's one or the other. It's I can't remember. And my fridge finally shut up. Thank God. This, I believe, is series... 11 or 12 as well for um, the first Daniel Bryan figure and I threw a World Heavyweight Championship that I bought just for the hell of it. I had on my CM Punk at one time but then I decided to put on Daniel Bryan. I think it looks good even if it doesn't really go with the attire very much but whatever. I, oh well. Uh, let's see. I got some couple of two packs here that I have loose. Here's Macho Man Randy Savage. This one I also bought for my Pal the Madness. Um, of course the bandana is from the All-Stars Punk but I always figured since the all not not the all -Star, all stars Macho Man sorry I don't know why I said all star I don't even have all stars Punk but I will show you my all stars figures I have and keeping with the battle pack um, here's the CM Punk that was included I had to buy this figure separately um, and then of course I have a few that have display stands not all of them do I have the Miz here I had this figure in the package originally but I had to take it out of the package because the packaging was damaged and that's just how I bought it without realizing it. Hope I can get that in the shot. Yeah, it's hard to see all the figures. And um, last I have one more uh, two pack up that have display stands. There's a CM Punk. One of my few basics with him with long hair. And then Luke Gallows. Who's now in Japan is Doc Gallows. And that's it for my basics. Now I'm gonna get into all my elites. And I do have a lot. Alright, for the elites, let's start off with the build of figures. Here's the very first one, Michael Cole, which I never got around to reviewing him. I put them together before I got my camcorder. Someday I might have to take them apart, maybe, and try to review them. Um, and I have the other four figures that he came with, but they're in their packaging, and I have them back in my room. When I do a full collection update, I'll have to show them. Um, I sadly do not have the Ricardo Rodriguez build of figure. I missed out on that set. So, I'll, hopefully someday I'll find that one for a good price online. Hopefully, I know they, people want a lot. So, here's the uh, next build figure that was after Ricardo. You know, John Laronitis. I've reviewed him. And then, Teddy Long, which actually from RHC Reviews number one. And Sally, I'm missing his glasses. I can't find them. I don't know if I accidentally... Vacuumed them up without realizing, I don't know, they just disappeared when I knocked them over one day and I couldn't find his damn glasses. And then here is Booker T, which I do thankfully have his glasses still, because they actually stay on his head because he has hair. Here is Paul Heyman. And the last one I was able to get so far, Jim Ross. Hopefully, I'll get my hands on the Kane Bill of Figure set and I can review that Bill of Figure, but. We'll just have to wait and see, and then I mentioned earlier that there's probably going to be no Paul Hay um, Paul Bear build a figure. Which sucks, but maybe Mattel will still release it sooner or later. At the current moment, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now these next ones technically aren't elites, they're actually basics. Well, one of them is an elite, and I'll, sh I'll say which one when I get to it. But these ones I kind of consider elite due to the fact that they come with clothing and accessories. I mean, majority of basics don't come with clothing at all anyway, except for a few battle packs. But anyways, um, let's get into my entrance grades. First one, here is Triple H from his WrestleMania 22 entrance. And I actually have reviewed this figure. It's one of the only entrance grades figures I've reviewed at the current moment. But I promise that sooner or later I will review the others. Then next, also from WrestleMania 22... Rey Mysterio in his Aztec gear. Of course, Triple H is in his Barbarian King of Kings attire. And then here's from WrestleMania 11. Or no, sorry, WrestleMania 12, sorry. I, I read it wrong. 
Uh, Shawn Michaels, I actually bought him in a flea market not too long ago. When same with Triple H and Rey Mysterio. Mostly all these have been bought from the flea market except for one. And this one, the display stand don't work right now. I'll have to get Barry for it. And then, let's see, you got a Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Entrance great figure. A million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Entrance great. And he comes with a briefcase. Even though, technically this is, a, I guess, a, from a Jax figures. And... It's just the collect the guy I bought it from. He included it with the Million Dollar Man. And I guess it makes sense. And this last one is the Rock, the only other entrance grade figure I have. I'm missing Chris Jericho and Undertaker, the only ones I still need. This one's technically an elite. It's the uh, um, Defined Moments Rock, but um, it's he's one of the entrance grades clothing, and he has the entrance grade stand. And I actually bought this from my old buddy, The Madness. Once again, shout out goes to him. And I bought I bought a decent amount of figures from him, and I'll. And I'll say which ones when I get some. But anyways, that's it for my uh, entrance grades collection. Now let's get back into the elite collection. I'm gonna try to get through the exclusives, the legends, the fine moments, and then of course the main elite collection. And I, once again, I have a lot. So um, first, I'm gonna start off with some of the exclusives that I have that are loose. Like here's the ringside exclusive cane with the removable mask, and I do have a towel for it. There's Tal if I want to take his mask off, but I usually prefer to leave the mask on. And then, um, here is the Toys R Us exclusive Undertaker. Um, I do have the chair and the sledgehammer, but the chair is, um, in a box. While the sledgehammer, I have the display with one of my Triple H's. But anyway, and also I don't have the display stand for him, because most of my elites do have display stands, except for Taker, because I, well, I need to buy some more display stands. Um, let's see who's next. I'm trying to look through my figures so I don't miss somebody. Um, here's another ringside exclusive. The uh, Legends Macho Man figure. Macho King. And by the way, I have a lot of Macho Man figures. I pretty much have every Macho Man figure that's been made so far by Mattel. Um, I have mostly some men on card and then, of course, some loose. Um, and then that's kind of it for exclusives. Let's go back to some Legends. Here's one of the last um, Legends figures from retail. This is, I believe, Series 7, The Ultimate Warrior. I've also reviewed him, so I'll push him back. Uh, let's see, try to find another Legend. Um, and I have very few Legends figures, um, especially when it comes to Men on Card ones. I only have one Men on Card, and it's a Macho Man. Anyways, I'm back to Legends. Here's um, Legends 7, Eddie Guerrero, who I've also reviewed. And then, um, continuing on with the Legends, I have Hacksanja Duggan. I don't remember what set he's from. I think it's from 4 or 5, I don't remember. Um, and he's kind of incomplete. One, I don't have the name tag for his display stand. Two, I'm missing the 2x4. And three, this flag is actually from the Tribute to the Troops ring, but since I bought this from a flea market and the etcetera's weren't included, but he's in good condition. So I thought I might as well put the flag with him because it goes with him. You know, it's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. USA! USA! Ho! Um, oh yeah, I did forget one more exclusive. It was a Mattel, you know, Maddie Collector exclusive. And one of the last Legends figures, Andre Giant. And I've also reviewed him as well. And like I said, I'll try to review all these other figures I haven't reviewed yet. Um, but most of the figures you've probably seen in this picture have been reviewed, except for the, the Hacksaw. And Macho Man, and, and I haven't reviewed the Taker either, but they've probably been used in comparison reviews. Um, let's see, what else? Let's get to the, the Fine Moments next, which is good. We got the Fine Moments back, but um, of course, you know, here's a few I have that aren't men on card or men box. Here's a uh, the Fine Moments Bret Hart, which is complete for the most part. I'm just missing his name, D, um, his name tag for his display stand. And this one I bought from my good pal the Madness, and same with the Ultimate Warrior. I forgot to mention that. So like I said, I bought quite a few fish from my good buddy, my old good pal of Madness. Madness, if you're watching, I, I miss seeing your videos on YouTube. I hope you come back someday, dude. Um, let's see, who's next? Um, here's one I bought off eBay a few few years back. Uh, here's the fine moment. John Cena has both his belts. He's complete. Definitely one of my favorite figures and one of the best John Cena figures ever made. Uh, let's see, try and look through my other figures. Because you know, I have them all over the place right now as I'm getting ready to put them all up. Here is Define Moments Rookie Dragon Steamboat. Um, for the most part, he's complete. He's missing the torch. And this is uh, another figure I bought from the Madness. And the last figure um, from Define Moments I have loose. 
Triple H. He's complete, and he's holding a sledgehammer. It's a sledgehammer from the uh, Toys R Us Undertaker. And that's it for my figures that aren't part of the standard Elite Collection. I mean, they're the Taker figure and the Kane figure, but they're exclusives. Oh, excuse me, a little bit of hiccup. So, moment of truth, I'm about to... Well, and also, I'm going to get to my All-Stars figures real quick. Let's get them out of the way. Um, here's All-Stars Macho Man, and, of course, I do have both bandanas. As I showed you guys, I have the other bandana on my uh, Battle Pack Macho Man. Um, let's see, here is All-Stars John Morrison. Let's see, trying to find him. Everybody else, um, here is All-Stars Jake the Snake Roberts. Another figure I bought from the Madness. Once again, shout out goes to him. And here is All Stars Randy Orton. And this one is actually wearing a shirt from one of his Elite figures. I think it's from what? Elite Series 4 or 5. I don't remember what series the shirt was from. But, anyways, that's it. Like I said, for the figures that technically are Elites, but they're not part of the standard Elite collection other than you know, the Undertaker and Kane. So now, moment of truth. Let's get into my. My standard Elite Collection figures, and I have a lot to show, so hopefully I get them all on the table. And finally, here's my main loose Elite Collection. And I'm going to try my best to go and order some of these I bought off eBay, or from the flea market, and even some through my good friend, The Madness. Well, I know one of them I did. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to try to go and order. Here's Elite Series 1, The Undertaker. I dropped his display stand, but um, hold on just a moment. Here he is. He's complete for the most part, just missing his name tag. And then also from Elite Series 1, and a guy who I have a lot of Elites of, because I used to be a big fan of him, and I guess in a way I still am. Here's Elite Series 1, CM Punk. Alright, trying to best get everybody in the shot. And then from Elite Series 2, here is Shawn Michaels. Like Undertaker, I'm just missing his name tag, and I got Taker and Shawn Michaels at the flea market, both for like ten dollars a piece. I bought CM Punk online and on eBay. I think I paid almost fifty bucks for him, but sometimes you gotta pay a lot to get hard to find figures. There's another figure I bought at the flea market. All I'd say is what's up. If I can get his display stand back on, it's our truth. And once again, I'm missing his name tag. And then also from Elite Series 3, mostly complete, but just missing his name tag as well. Um, it's Triple H. Did I say it right? Did I say it's from Elite Series 3? Uh, whatever. And then I believe this one's from Elite Series 3. I might be wrong. You figured it'd probably be Series 1, but whatever. It's John Cena, and probably one of the few Elites of his I like. Other than his Defined Moments. And then I don't have a Series 18. I wish I did, but oh well. And then let's see, uh, from Elite Series 6, here's another CM Punk Elite I have. I'm just missing his name tag and uh, I believe the Clippers that came with it. Other than that, that's a good figure. And then that's, probably, that's the last of the figures that came with Display Stand since the later figures did not. Try to keep going in order. Here is Elite Series 7 Triple H. I'm just missing his glow sticks and I say I don't have Shawn Michaels or Hornswoggle from that set and they're pretty pricey, pretty expensive, you know. Uh, this figure was hard to come by, but eventually found him for a cheap price. This is a uh, Elite Series um, Nine. Zack Ryder bought him on eBay, and also got Triple H on eBay. Then another figure I bought off eBay, um, and I forgot somebody from Elite Series Eight. Like I said, I'd go in order, and I've actually done this video over and over. So you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna keep going. This is a figure I actually got from my pal the Bat in this. This is Edge from Elite Series Eight, and um. He's technically a head swap. It's not the same head scan. I don't have the sunglasses, so one of the few head swaps I have in my collection. Let's see. Go up to uh, Elite Series 11, Christian. And then also from Elite Series 11, CM Punk from when he was in the Nexus. If I can get it back on the display stand. Or the new Nexus. And then here's also from Elite Series 11, Wade Barrett, before he was Bad News Barrett, when he was the leader of the Nexus. And both of them do have their armbands, in case you're wondering, they're just covered by the shirts. And this one, I wouldn't say it's so much a custom, in a way it kind of is, but not really. Uh, this is also from Elite Series 11, you know, Wade Barrett. Um, I have the trench coat from the Series 18 figure I bought for the flea market. The belt is from my big show that I showed you earlier, my basics. And then the shirt I got from Ralph's Figure Clothing. Rest in peace, Ralph. 
And then, of course, he's got a, a, well, I thought it was painted on, but when I bought it, it was technically put on by marker, I guess, or pen, his beard, because I was kind of, you know, impatient, trying to wait for Elite Series 24 Barrett to come out at the time. But other than that, you know, it's just the Elite 11 Barrett. Nothing too special, but I thought, whatever. Looks alright, I guess. And then let's see, from Elite Series uh, 13, this right here is Seamus. One of the few Seamus figures I actually like. Um, from Series 14, flashback, uh, Big Boss Man. And then another flashback from Series 14, King Booker, Booker T. And then we go to Series 18, Flashback, Jerry King Lawler. Because back then, the flashbacks were very hard to find in my area. But nowadays, they're not too hard to find. And finally, my last Loose Elite, Ryback, from Series 21. And I do have both dumbbells, but of course, you know, his other hand is not molded right, so he can't hold the other one, so... You know, here it is, and that's it for my Loose Elites. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my Loose Mattel WA figure collection. It may not be a lot, but keep in mind, this is only a small portion of my collection, as I have at least twice, or almost three times as much when it comes to Men on Card Basics, Elites. And I'll try to do a collection update one of these days, but when it comes to those, because I have a lot. But anyways, let's take another look at the Elites back here. And all the other figures, the fine moments, legends, entrance grades, all stars, and you know, basics, you know, all over, you know, build a figures, and so on and so forth. And now the fun part is, putting these back on the shelves, is I'm going to try to reorganize my collection. But yeah, there you guys go. Feel free to tell me what figures you like the most. Let me know what ones you have in your collection. And also, keep in mind, these are not for sale or trade, especially when it comes to my elites. And, you know, I might try to review some of these figures that I haven't got a chance to review yet. I will put links in the description to the ones that I have reviewed. And if you guys want to see a, a certain figure get reviewed, let me know. You know, comment down below. So maybe when I get a chance to do REC reviews again, I can know which ones I want to review the most. But I'll try to review every figure at some point. But that's it. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Rock on and keep collecting.